Oh my gosh! Hi, right, Shaq, we're uh, uh, on these live wires. Always clean up the lab, otherwise something will bite you in Oh. Oh my gosh, this is, I would never try this. What's going on everybody, man? My name is Jovan, and today we'll be covering the pain of electricity, AC versus DC. If you guys don't know, I graduated with a degree in optical engineering and I'm getting a master's degree in electronics engineering and I am an electro-optical engineer in the defense industry. So I'm very excited to know like which will hurt more um, uh, alternating current or versus a direct current. Um, if you guys don't know, alternating currents, like they oscillate like a sine wave and a direct current is just direct. And in my industry, electronics, we use a lot of direct currents because they're just more precise for control, especially for micro components. But anyways, I don't think that matters when it comes to which will hurt more. So <laughs> let's not waste any more time and get right into this. Hi, one of the common questions is that what kind of electricity hurts more? AC alternating current or DC direct current? So I'm going to measure the electricity pain level on a human's body, which is myself. But first, let's measure the what? resistance of the skin on tongue and fingers for reference. So first, let's measure the resistance of dry skin. Guys, please do not try this at home. I don't know why he's doing this. Please don't shock yourself at home. This is a... T I'm happy, well, I'm not happy he's doing it, but it's a good, you know, video to show, but wow. It's 600K and above. Now, if I wet my fingers with my saliva, you can see it's 100K and above. If I measure the resistance of my tongue, it's 10K, 20K and above. So the resistance of the tongue is at least 30 times less than the dry skin and it will feel the electricity at much lower levels and for that reason I'll apply electricity to my tongue. I should tell you, I have accidentally zapped myself in the past many times and I <laughs> kind of know what I'm dealing with. So you better trust me on this one and don't hurt yourselves. If you really want to know what electricity pain feels like, then take a 9 volt or less battery and put it on your tongue and you'll know. As I mentioned in my other video, a power supply like this one that can generate 70 amps doesn't necessarily hurt you at all if the voltage is set very low. Observe. No! <laughs> Who the hell set this to 25 volts? <laughs> Before using a power supply, always make sure its level is set properly. Let's try again, and this time I start from 1 volt, and I'll watch for 4 levels. When I start sensing electricity, when it becomes annoying, when it feels like torture, and when I can't raise it anymore. Here we go. <laughs> this guy is funny. So if you guys don't know, the reason why he tested the resistance is because voltage, yeah, voltage and resistance are directly proportional. So what that means is that if the resistance increases, the current um, stays the same and the voltage increases. And the reason I bring that up is because current, according to Ohm's law, current and resistance are inversely proportional. So if you have a current that increases, uh, the volt, I mean, the resistance will decrease. So the higher the resistance that he will have, the less, I guess, pain he would feel if he were to shock himself in the mouth. So that's why he said, okay, my resistance is higher here. I'm going to apply the, uh, the voltage here, or I'm going to apply the, in this instance, the current here. I barely feel it at one volt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, around 5 volt it's kind of annoying uh, uh, yeah I would say around 9 volt it feels like torture although if you want to torture someone and make them talk you probably don't want to hurt their tongue and besides you should never torture each other Always remember, people in the first world countries never torture anybody. <laughs> they always hire the third world countries to do the job. Oh, wow. Unless, of course, <laughs> if you're married. Oh. Uh. That's it. I can't really go over 12 volts. I should say that women's pain threshold is higher than men, so they should be able to go to higher levels. Now, let's this try guy, AC. This guy is hilarious, man. Guys, if you ever get an internship or start working as an engineer, please don't try to go to work and shock yourself on the tongue. I do would say this is a very 
funny experiment. This is this is this is crazy. I don't know why he would do this. I would never do this. I've heard that human body has some capacitive properties, meaning that it will let AC through easier than DC. So I expect AC to hurt more at lower levels, and also it will hurt more at higher frequencies. But before that, let me show you something. I've set the signal generator to 5 Hz 7 volt RMS. Let me change the frequency now. Nice. By the way, I can do this too. Uh. Now let's reduce the voltage level and increase the frequency all the way to 60 Hz. Oh my gosh! Alright, shock was passing on his live wires. Always clean up the lab, otherwise something will bite you in the ass. Okay, AC is starting at 1 volt. Hmm? Uh. I can definitely feel it now. Hmm. Yeah, it's quite annoying at 3.5 volts. Oh. Ah. It's torturing at 4.5 volts. This is terrible. Oh. Ah. That's it. I can't really go over six and a half volts. So it was confirmed. According to my sensors, the AC hertz at RMS levels half of the DC level. Anything for science. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is I would never try this. Why did he do this? Why did he do this? Uh but if you guys, one thing he said, and I don't, I don't, I'm not even sure if he said this, but I think AC will hurt more. And the reason I think AC will hurt more is because if you look at the human body, the way our body produces energy, it's like a pulse. We have a heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. If you look at the way AC is, it, it goes high, then goes low. It like, it moves like a wave in the ocean. It moves like a wave in the ocean when it transmits energy versus a direct current, which just shoots energy. So if you're looking at pain, I would think, let's say that the AC's peak is higher or it hits your body when your heartbeat is not in sync with it. I just think that would hurt more than something that is just a direct shock. Rather than having a direct shock that goes lower than a shock that goes higher, I just feel like that would hurt more to me or it would at least be a more intense um, situation for our nervous system. Uh, but either way, who would want to do either of these? I don't think I would ever want to do either AC or DC. <laughs> but anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, it's Jovan Hall, and I'll see you on the next one.